uh, one of the uh, main points we focused on with the Argentina team uh, was their main passing ability and how they led from the back with uh, Berdiso, the main centre back, uh, with four of the main uh, five man midfield being involved, all of them having very high pass completion uh, ratings, with even Benega having 79 passes made and 70 received, so he was one of the main playmakers out throughout the whole team. Uh, here we looked at sort of the different parts of the midfield. Uh, obviously, with the left, with Di Maria and Pastor, you can see most of their passes completed are on the left hand side, uh, up and down the pitch, uh, as well on the right with Benega and Messi, just dominating every section of the midfield. Mascherano, who was the centre man, the holding man. Uh, spreading the ball wide up the pitch, also looking back and incorporating all the players of the team. And it's just another uh, picture just to show how dominant they were in the middle of the park with 147 212 passes completed uh, to Brazil's 184 They also you can see how much they use the wings as well as driving through the middle um, and also just play from, from one side to the other, just incorporate all of the team, not afraid to go backwards either. And here we have, moving on to Brazil's pressure, we have two different clips. The first one showing how Brazil stand off Argentina. The main pressure is slightly more concentrated inside the pitch. And we notice the forwards applying very little pressure to the back line, just letting them play out. And this clip leads to an Argentina chance on goal. It was given for offside, but the play just it was just as open as it could be, and Argentina just pretty flowing. This second clip shows a similar result to the start, with Argentina passing the ball freely throughout the team, left to right, and when it gets two on two, and Brazil apply pressure, they're forced to go backwards. And then, as we said earlier, with the Brazil forwards, no pressure whatsoever at the start. So Argentina calmly pass the ball into the middle, and then as soon as it gets into the middle third, Brazil apply the pressure, win the ball, and they're on the attack. And a bit of bad choice selection with the pass, which we're going to focus on now. Join. Thank you. Yeah, as we saw earlier, with the passing match just showed how dominant Argentina were in midfield. So we thought uh, from the formation, uh, we can see Brazil's formation had three in the central midfield where Argentina had five. It just showed how dominant the five could be. And from this, uh, we thought of a formation that they could perhaps change from, um, still having four at the back, but the two sort of wing back um, being further forward. So when they're attacking, it becomes uh, well, sort of a 2-6, two, yeah, 2-6-2, two, two, uh, with these staying as far forward as possible. And then in defense, having 5-3-2, uh, five, uh, having five at the back just to keep the ball up as far as possible with the three in the middle chasing. Um, and trying to sort of hold the five, the five in the middle. We also noticed um, on the passing and the possessions that Messi does not stay uh, on the edge. Uh, he normally tries to come inside and help the uh, attacker, which would primarily help <laughs> the three in midfield to sort of retain possession and play it about a bit more. Yeah, 
to conclude, um, team formation, there's something to work on in training. Team formation, trying to get everyone in the right positions at the right time, going forward and backwards, changing the formations to suit the play. Pressure on the ball and the players, as we saw the strikers not uh, applying enough pressure to the Argentinian defenders. So just to pressure the ball, make them make mistakes. Uh, focus on the selection of pass to look up, see where the players are running to, where there are gaps. Um, pass the ball into their movement of the players as well, looking into the gaps. And lastly, working on the crossing to look up, uh, see where the players are in the box. As we saw, a looped cross was better when we had two at the back. Um, and also, when there's the players running in low and hard into the keeper, it will be the best for us. So are there any questions for me or John?